Okay, so today we're on the fifth step, which is setting up the second level analysis. Now, I'm assuming you have three levels total, which means you have multiple subjects and multiple runs per subject. If you only have a single run per subject, you will skip this step and move on to the group analysis, which is coming up later. Um, so this is just a very quick GUI and Python setup. I have to finish before my oven timer goes off because then I have to take some food out of the oven. So let's see if I make it. Again, I'm assuming three levels, multiple subjects, multiple runs within subject. And the second level, the purpose, the purpose of this analysis is to average the runs within subject. So we're going to use fixed effects for this. I will put a link right here to the video that does that. I posted the video earlier this week. Uh, I mean, the video has been up for a while, but I reposted it on the Facebook group. And that just explains why we use fixed effects and what the benefits of that are. So the scripting is very much like the level one analyses. You're going to set up a template FSF and then just do a general search and replace. The thing you do have to do a little bit differently, and this is true for the DS008 data set if you're using that as well, is that you might have subjects with one run or two runs or three runs, and so you're going to have different FSF templates for them. There isn't an easy way that I know of to create a single template and then adjust that template for the multiple runs. So I just create multiple and then make sure my script figures out who is who. If you are using the DSOOA data sets, uh, get rid of subject eight. Uh, they're the only subject with one run. Everybody else has two or three runs. And I'll show you how I dealt with that in scripting. For the one run case, it's just, it's still easier. You technically don't need to run a second level model, but it keeps your scripts a lot simpler um, to run those subjects through. So I'm just, I'm talking about an analysis where you have uh, just a handful of subjects that have a single run and the other ones have multiple runs. In that case, I would still run the subjects who have a single run through a second level analysis and I'll show you how to trick FSL into doing that. Uh, the setup's a little bit differently. And uh, in terms of the model, it's effectively taking the data, putting it in standard space and multiplying it by one. So it's not actually running a model. So let's have a look at the GUI. So here it is. Now the first thing you need to do is change it from first level to higher level analysis and you'll see a bunch of tabs uh, blank out because you can't, you don't need to access them. So you have two options, lower level feet directories or lower level copes. So most of the time you're not going to be, so the only time you need to use lower level copes is if you want to compare copes between runs. I'll talk about a special case where you might want to do this in a moment, but most of the time you will have set things up so your lower level feats are what you want. Basically, um, what this will do is if in your lower level feat you ran, here, let's, I'll just, uh, actually I'm gonna load, I'll load in a second. If you ran five copes, it will automatically run your model in parallel on those five copes. So it won't do anything between copes. You can't do anything, um, you can't do like a paired difference or something like that between copes if you're using the lower level feet directory option. You set the output directory as usual, and then the stats tab, you want to switch this to fixed effects. Now, you'll notice if you have a case where you only have three runs, the GUI will not let you drop to three runs. Why? Because feet's at least putting in a little bit of damage control. You can't, if you have to compute a variance with a model, you need at least three observations. Even then, that's a really bad variance estimate. So uh, fixed effects models don't estimate any variance. So that's one of the, the weird things. And again, see the video from before for more about that. But once you switch it to fixed effects, the GUI will then allow you to decrease this, but only to two. Now I did say sometimes you're gonna have just one, and I'll show you how to deal with that in a second. And then you set up your model and now it looks like this. You won't input files as we did for the level one, but you will um, set the regressors as you need to. So typically it will be a uh, one sample t-test. Let me load one. You know what, actually it's not gonna let me load because I ran my level twos on a different machine. Um, so let me go here. Let me just select two feed directories really quickly. 
So actually subject 12 is one of the subjects that only had two feed directories. So I'll do that one. So I go to model, task one, run one, hit okay. And then I could just copy that and paste it down here and change it to run two. Now, you'll see once I input these, it automatically detects that there are two lower level copes. If you don't want it to run the analyses on all the lower level copes, you can unclick the box. Typically you do. And then you would set the output directory as before, and you would put your model in. Usually you're gonna just be averaging things together, so your model will be a single column of ones, and your contrast is just the group mean. You'll notice I never do positives and negative contrast. I wait till the group level because there's no reason to double the number of files that I'm dealing with. Okay, so then the design is very simple. <laughs> and with three runs, this will be a little taller, but otherwise it will look the same. And then for post stats, since I'm, there's no way I'm looking at inferences at this level uh, because this is a fixed effects analysis, so I won't do that, and I turn off the time series plots, just as I did for the level one. These run very fast. I would guess it would take five minutes or so, unless you have a lot of data for some reason, but usually you only have a handful of runs. So um, I think that's all I have to say. So then once you have your design.fsf templates, so I would repeat this for the three run task, um, this is in the FSL directory uh, for this for the Mumford Brain Stats. So I'll put the link in the description box below. This is a Python script that should work for you. So we're going to use glob again, import OS. Um, you would obviously set this to your study directory on your machine. And this would be the directory where you're going to stick all your FSF files. So the first thing I do is I grab all the subject directories. So this will just be you know, sub 0001, sub 002, all of that. Um, you're going to have to edit some of this. I split the directory path, and then on my, or the computer I ran this on, the fifth element, which is really the sixth, was the sub 000 part. So I grab that out, and then here I'm grabbing the last three numbers, or the last three characters, which is the subject number. If there's a better way to do this, let me know. And then what I do, is I have it automatically find how many feet there are. So this is cool because if there are only two, it will only find um, two. If there are three, it'll find three. I have an if statement in here. You can add to this. This is only doing the case for um, two feet, or sorry, three feet. So you add your own second if loop for the two feet case. So this is saying there are only three feet directories. So it will then use the template that was created for three runs instead of two runs. And then the rest of this is the same. So in my case, I just had to replace the string subnum with the appropriate subject number. So I opened my template. Um, here's the new one that's going to be created, the ends in sub 00, you know, whatever their number is. And then this just does the search and replace. And that is it. So it's a pretty simple script. Again, you will have to add the if statement for two runs and for one run let me tell you what you do if because as I said before it's easier to keep everybody's directory structured the same way so if you have a subject with one run what you'll do here is when you select the feed directories select the same directory twice you might be thinking oh this is gonna mess up my model but it'll be fine so you select the same directory twice and then in the stats directory, your model is going to look like this, a one and a zero. So now in this case, it's just running a model to grab the first one. Since a residual variance is not estimated in this model, it's just fixed effects, it's fine. And then um, the contrast stays the same. So that is it. Uh, likewise, sometimes you'll be doing paired differences at the second level. And in that case, you would input your two copes. In that case, it would, it's typically copes that you're doing paired differences between. And you would run, uh, sorry, I have that one in the, never mind. I'm not going to do that here. I have it in the slides. All right. So just quick review. I'm assuming you're just averaging runs here. Typically, that's what you're going to do. And if you only have one run, this is what I just told you to do. You feed each run in twice. 
and then using this design, um, you're going to be fine because it's not estimating a residual variance, so you're not going to get some weird thing because we're using fixed effects. Another model you might use is um, computing a paired difference at the second level. This happens sometimes because you um, it simplifies the group level analysis if you're looking at, say, uh, a change over time. So the first cope would be time one, the second cope would be time two, so those would be from two different feet directories. So this is using the lower level cope option. And your design matrix is a column of ones, and then a one and a minus one, and then the paired difference would be zero, one. There are multiple ways of setting up this design. This is one that will work. Okay, so yeah, that is it. A reminder, um, feet won't let you input only two files or feats unless you first change the option to fixed effects, and that's under the model tab. I will show you really quickly. That was right here. I'm sorry, it's under the stats tab. So you need to change this to fixed effects if you need to force this down to two. If it's on flame or OLS or something else, it won't let you do it. That is it. Haha, <laughs> I did it before my dinner was done cooking. So please join the Facebook group or follow on Tumblr or Twitter or all three. If you have questions, ask below, ask on the Facebook group. And thanks a lot for watching and have a good day.